Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading now. This is for Pisces for July 2017. This is meant to be a uh, general reading. Whatever comes out will come out. I've had probably two of them come out as love readings out of the general readings. So let's see what happens for Pisces. July 2017. Thank you to all the uh, commenters subscribers, watchers, and bookings. I have been very busy, so thank you very much. The best way to contact me is to send me an email, and I'll send you an invoice via PayPal or Square. Just uh, let me know when you uh, send me the email, and if you could send me your sun sign as well, that would be great. This is for Pisces. What do you have for Pisces for the month of July? Just shuffle until I'm told to stop, like most people do. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your rising sign or your moon sign. If you don't like the way I do it, keep it to yourself because I'm not changing. Um, or go ahead and say it. it, doesn't really matter. If you don't like it, too bad. And I say that because I've had some people be like, oh, don't do this, you don't do that. Or they tell me what the card means. Well, then they should they should uh, have their own tarot readings because that's their style. This is mine. So to all the new uh, people watching, I tell it like I see it. There's no sugar coating. Um, yeah, that's about what it is. This is for Pisces. I'm here to provide the messages. Um, that's what I'm here for. All right, I think we're good. This is for Pisces, July 2017. It's supposed to be a general reading. Let's see what comes up. Something unexpected is going to happen at the end of the month. And you might feel deceived about it or unhappy. Okay. Um, so we're going to go back to the first week of the month. At the first week of the month, perhaps you have a fire sign that is in your life. The first week of July. You could have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Libra, or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. They probably are all in your life at this time. Looks like you are very, very, very busy. You have a lot of things going on and you're probably um, a little bit, a little chaotic at this time. Your intuition is right in line as it usually is, Pisces. And I think that you, you have a very um, clear idea of what is going on by the end of the week. I mean, you, there's no confusion in your head. You know exactly what's going on and you're going to have an awakening that um, connects to prosperity, you know, security and abundance. You're going to have an awakening at the end of the first week. And it's connected to a manifestation of prosperity. You're going to have a, you're going to have a wake up call that's going to lead to more abundance at the end of the first week. All right. Definitely, definitely you have a fire sign. Perhaps um, either you're acting like a fire sign or you have one that has entered the situation. Um, 
And it's about doing the right thing, okay? You have to do the right thing. You have to make a final decision. It's kind of funny because you see right here, perhaps you need to choose between, between these two people because we have... We have these, this Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. I mean, it's it's a pretty clear-cut situation right here. You have two people, you know, and here's the justice. It's time to make a decision. Do you want to go with this one or do you want to go with this one? That's what... It's time to make a decision. What is it, it going to be? This one <laughs> is family-oriented and motherly and beautiful and lovely and all that and perhaps that's the that is um maybe you've walked or she has walked away from you you know it's this person has walked away from you it's a taurus capricorn or virgo they've either walked away from you or you have walked away from them or you're gonna it's one or the other this person you're splitting up with put it that way or you have this person, <laughs> again, it's a Leo problem. It's, this is amazing. It truly is. And only that would that would be true for Pisces. Because here's Pisces. Okay, here's Pisces. Um, here's this fire sign. Probably a Leo. Okay. This person is beautiful too. She's beautiful too. Um, they're both very beautiful. Calm. Um, it's going to be a hard choice, but the universe is going to help you with this choice. Okay. They are going to help you with this choice. The universe is coming in and they're, they see the struggle. They see that it's time for you to make a choice. Okay. This is about finality. You have to make a final choice. Okay. And it's between probably a Libra. I mean, not a Libra. A, well, this is a Libra. A Leo. Uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm thinking Leo and Taurus. That's who it's probably between. It could be any ones. Um, but it's about making a choice. A significant choice. It's, it's, a, it's a complete, final choice. And this card represents you, Pisces. And this is the universe that says, Okay, we see this. We know what's going on. And oh, So here's the map. <laughs> They throw it in. All right. Oh, shit. Now you have to react. Okay. Yep. At the end of the week, you're going to act. The end of the month, actually. The end of the month, you're going to act. You're going to act up here at the beginning of the month, and you're also going to act at the at the end of the month. Um, and you're going to be quite, quite proud of your decision. Okay. At the end of the third week. At the end of the third week, you're going to feel good about your decision. Okay. By the end of the fourth week, you might not be feeling so good about it, okay? Um, you've been betrayed, or you feel like you've been betrayed, or you've betrayed somebody. This is a um, this is an air sign, Libra, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We also have Aquarius here. This is about healing, okay? This is about healing and clearing yourself, clearing your thoughts, having clear thinking. Okay? And listening to your intuition, which brings you to prosperity. And having this awakening here. You have a big awakening coming. A big one. Okay? Just so you know. <laughs> you can't have both. You can't juggle both. You know, you have to choose one. It's time to choose one. Perhaps this person, this person right here that has walked away is, is, is healing. Okay, they're starting to heal. So you're starting to heal. Perhaps you're, move the, you're moving away from that relationship. Okay, with clear thinking. You're moving towards a steady, secure spot a, a steady secure position i see no um strife with money or abundance or security looks like you're very stable um
I think you're going to have some kind of epiphany in the middle of the second week of July. All right. And perhaps somebody is going to make you aware of something um, in not such a kind manner. Okay. That is going to open your eyes about something. Okay. I think it has to do with moving on. I see that there, there's definitely been some conflicts. There's been some conflicts, and I think they're in your head. You know, perhaps you feel like you've betrayed somebody, Pisces. You know? Because by the at the end of the third week, you're feeling good. You know, you're not ashamed. You're feeling good. Um, you're feeling proud by the end of the third week. By the end of the fourth week, it changes to feeling betrayed, defeated, smug, alone. There's something going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of, probably with this fire sign. This is, there's something going on behind the scenes. There's some secrets that you are not aware of. <laughs> and the universe is going to show you what those are. Absolutely, that's the awakening. They're going to show you what those are. And it could have to do with um, a motherly figure. All right. Too much going on at one time. Somebody's trying to, somebody is angry, you know, and they're trying to probably um, mess up your abundance, you know, mess up your security. They're inhibiting you. Somebody is inhibiting you from healing. But you're going to heal no matter what because you are so strong. You are. You are mentally and psychically in tune. You can manifest anything. Your intuition is usually most like 99.9% .9 right. Okay. You do love yourself. I see that you do. You definitely do love yourself. There could be an Aquarius in the situation, okay? There could be an Aquarius. You know, this person, you're making a choice here. You have to make a choice. The first week, perhaps, you know, you need to, do you really, you know, is it going to be this way or is it going to be this way? You have to make a choice between two people, probably a Leo and a Taurus or a Leo, Leo Aries, Sagittarius or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, probably in between, you know, the fire sign and earth sign. You have to make a choice. You have to make a final decision. All right. And perhaps, you know, and you're going to make the final decision because the universe is going to make you. You don't have a choice. OK, you're going to make that decision. It's going to happen. All right. And if you don't make the decision, the universe is going to make the decision for the other person. The universe could be, you know making this person go away from you, all right? They could be making this person have an epiphany. And they could be making this person come closer to you. This is a Leo. These, both of these people, man or woman, are very beautiful on the inside. They have beautiful souls, both of them, man or woman. So it's definitely a very hard decision, all right? Um... But you know you can't have both. That's your that's the your epiphany. You your wake up. I you know you know you can't have both. This is about making a choice. It's about bringing the clarity that you need. Like I see, I see here very much. It's time to make a choice. Make something final so that you can heal, and really let this go. Okay. No more secrets and lies. It's time to move forward with clear thinking. All right. This is for Pisces. What else do you have for Pisces? The first week, it looks like uh, there's a choice that needs to be made, okay? The first week, the choice is there to be made, okay? There's probably two people in your life, and you don't know what to do. 
probably a fire sign and an earth sign but you know that you can't have both and so it's really it's, it's really causing you some mental havoc okay but your intuition tells you what to do and you're going to follow your intuition it's just the way it is your intuition is 99.9 percent .9 right most of the time i mean all the 99 percent right it is your intuition is is, is it's really 100 percent right but you know that it's 99.9% .9 right. Okay? You're going to have an awakening. It's going to lead you to more abundance in the, in, at the end of the second week. All right? Um, you're going to get the clarity that you need. The second week, this fire sign is still in in, in your life. And, and this person, man or woman, perhaps, they, there's been some um, lust, you know? I don't know where that came from. The second week of July. You know, it's been really hot and heavy. But, why is this still here? This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Second week, perhaps, you know, this person has acted. They're coming in hot and heavy. But, what the hell? Why is this person still here? This is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. They are stable. They are. They're stable. They're secure. Um... Down to earth or grounded. All right. That's the second week. So perhaps you do something the first day. The second day you regret it and you're thinking about this person. And um, maybe you don't regret it. Maybe you're happy with it. Maybe you're ready to let this person go. Because that's what it looks like. This person is walking. This person is walking away. Or leaving. Or you are leaving that person. All right. This is a clear mind. Okay, you have an awakening, you have an epiphany, your mind clears, you head towards security. You're headed towards security and abundance. This is the end of the second week. The third week, that fire sign is still here. And they are connected to you. They're, that fire sign is still here because they don't give up. They don't give up, you know. And, um... The fire sign's still here, and so isn't this this other person, the same one. This one is the same. This person is still here, too. You know, this is the motherly, caring, nurturing, um, beautiful um, earth mother, okay? Which is the same as the pentacles. It is the queen of pentacles or the king of pentacles. Same thing. This is a fire sign, and this is about having strength. This person is, is probably stronger than this person. This person is love. This person is strength. That's the difference. Not that this person doesn't love. This person does love, but this person is his Mother Earth. I mean, what else can I say? Anyway, um, this is you, Pisces. This represents you and things going on behind the scenes, probably with this person. Um, and this is the universe bringing it out, bringing it out into the open, you know, like a firework, boom. Um, and this person is walking away or you're walking away from this person. That's what's happening. Okay. But, and the universe is making this happen. There's nothing you can do. You are going to make a choice. You're going to be pushed in a certain direction, okay? By the fourth week of July, okay? The third week, they're both still here, you know? And you're feeling good about it. You're feeling good. It's like, hmm, you know? You're feeling really good. You, ha you feel like you have everything you need right now. All right? You're feeling very, very good. I see no shame. Very proud. People can see who you are and that you're a hard worker. But the fourth week... Perhaps this, there's some secret that has come out. There's some secret that has come out thanks to the universe. Some, the fourth week is when the universe drops the bomb. Okay, the fourth week, 
week of July. Perhaps the first three weeks everything is peachy keen and there's all kinds of hot and heavy, all right. And um, then the universe, you know, throws in the uh, firework in the middle of the uh, arena that nobody expects, okay, or that you don't expect, all right. And it's a wake-up call. I mean, maybe somebody gets pregnant. I had to push pause for a minute. I don't know if you heard the cat fight outside. If you back it up and listen, you'll hear it. We could definitely have a cat fight on the horizon. No shit. That's why that happened. Beware. Watch what you do. <laughs> That sounds like fun, doesn't it? I think that you feel like you've betrayed somebody. There's some betrayal here. And you're very, you're like an empath, Pisces. So you would feel like you betrayed somebody pretty easily. So don't take that in a bad way. Missing an opportunity. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Right here, over this. You're missing an opportunity? Are you missing an opportunity? You tell me. That's probably what, I mean, when you have, I mean. Open your eyes to the possibilities. This is your choice. I don't know these people, you do. Open your eyes to the possibilities. You are a water sign, Pisces, which you probably already know. Cups, water. A fire sign is um, wands, and they're fire. They're fire. This person is earth. Okay? Earth. Earth. Pentacles. They're earth signs. They're about stability and abundance. Um, fire is feisty. Earth is grounded. You are water. Which one do you, which one can you work with for the next 20 years or whatever? You know, that just, I'm just throwing that out there. Would you work better with fire or would you work better with earth? You are water. Um, water puts out fire. Um, water, how does water and earth go together? You know, I, I mean, there definitely can be some tragedy, you know, when they come together, but... You figure that out, not me. Um, here, the world. A job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. A path toward enlightenment. The world is the last card in the tail deck. It represents that you have learned a major life lesson. An experience of your lifetime has ended and a new one is beginning. It's right here with this epiphany. It's right here with this wishes come true and healing. It's right here with this walking away from something. You have to leave something behind that you are emotionally connected to. But there, no fear because you are one with yourself, mind, body, and spirit. And I don't think you have any fear either. I don't. I think you are fearless, okay? And here you are. This is you.
Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. Your psychic abilities are already at the highest like level, so I don't. I mean, good luck making them higher. I'm sure that you can, um, but they're they're very very high. So just remember that. And if you doubt it, just go back to it because they're very high. Um, now this is. Um, a new person enters your life. This is now towards the end of, it's the second to third week, okay? A new person enters your life. And that's after the world card. So perhaps this is person is moving out of your life. This whole person right here is moving out of your life because ahead is the new person. Probably this fire sign or Aquarius. All right. Could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. All right. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius enters your life. Maybe you're going to leave both of these people behind. You know, maybe there's a cat fight between these people. I don't know. I don't know. And, and if it's men, maybe there's a fist fight or words or who knows what. But there's some kinds of fight, some kind of argument. Like, you know, I don't know about that. Perhaps you're going to begin a new relationship with a air sign. The biggest message that you can get for this is follow your intuition. It's come up several times. Follow your intuition. Your psychic abilities are very, very high. You know where to go. You're one with yourself. You have all the resources. You don't need any advice from me or anybody else. You don't. You betray yourself by not trusting your intuition. You do. You betray yourself. What else can we get for Pisces? Let's get something for the end of the month. Remember, the fourth week of the month, something is not all as it seems, and the universe is going to bring something about that you do not expect. It's going to come when you do not expect it, and you're not, you probably will forget about it by the end of July that you even watch this reading. And you might be thinking right now, well, what is this? What is this? And use your intuition. Really, really, really use it because about the only sign that can use it to this ability is, you know, try to try to figure this out. You might be able to figure it out, but probably not. This is something, a surprise from the universe. You're really not meant to figure it out until it happens. That's how it is life changing. And it is going to be because that's the last card in the deck right here. Okay, this, and they're right next to each other. It's life changing. You are going to start a new journey. Brand new. A, a major project that you has just completed in your life. It could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be anything that you've been doing for a, of, a period of time that you've concentrated on is over. And a new one is beginning. Probably with a new person. Could be an Aquarius or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think this is just a lusty thing over here. I do. But I could be wrong. I mean, I could be wrong. I think there's probably some hot and heavy lust right here and that you have to get rid of this person right here that's in your past, you know, and you start to, you finally you have a wake up call and be like, you know what, I don't want any of this shit. Um, and then this person comes in and this could be the security that you're looking for. I'm just saying I could be wrong. If you are already coupled, 
I don't know. If you're already coupled, then maybe there's some interest someplace else. You know, and you're thinking about breaking up with somebody or separating from somebody. You know, and you have interest elsewhere. Right now, you're talking to somebody else or you're looking at somebody else. You're like, man, yeah, okay. You know, and then somebody finds out about it. If you're a couple, somebody finds out about it and flips out. Oh my God, there's a goddamn fight now. And so that's when the wake up call comes. Holy shit, what just happened? Now somebody's forced to leave because they just can't, you know, this is too much. And probably you're part of that, obviously. Maybe there's a big whole freaking breakup if you're coupled. I don't know. I'm not saying to go break up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You know, you this is meant for whoever it's meant to be with before. If it's not for you, I just I don't know what to tell you. I have to say what I am told to say. Happily ever after. Isn't that wonderful? A content and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Huh. Perhaps with this one it was. Damn. Because this one is. These people are content. They're very materialistic. They're secure. They're grounded. And see what this is. It's right here with this lineup. But it's also here with this leaving it behind and right before this major change. So perhaps the contented and rewarding family life is no more. I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I can't make this shit up. Well, I guess that's, that's exactly what I do, isn't it? Ace of Pentacles, an inflow of abundance, promising business venture, important documents and contracts. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning of prosperity and abundance, perhaps with a new partner. A new person enters your life. It's a new beginning of prosperity and abundance. With, I mean, you have a lot of people here. Are you just like a magnet or what? <laughs> looks really good though looks like a lot of fun Pisces a fun that is um, <laughs> leads to chaos it leads to chaos but uh, every once in a while you like to have that in your life right it's not fun if it's not a little bit chaotic So at the end of the month, it looks like you might feel like, be feeling a little ashamed of yourself or a little betrayed, or like you betrayed somebody or you have betrayed yourself. That's what I mean by ashamed of yourself. You may feel like, you know, a little too smug for your own good and people might be ashamed of you, you know, for the, for your actions. I mean, if you're, if you're playing three different people, then, you know, there's a reason to be ashamed. And I'm not saying that's the wrong thing to do. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that's, you know, you be you. There's nothing wrong with who you are. So whatever. You be you and go with it. Anyway, um, but it looks like it's, there's some disgust at the end of the month. The very end of the month, there's some disgust. Whether it's your own disgust of yourself or somebody's disgusted with you, at the very last end of the month, there's some disgust. Whew. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, I'm sure that it will resonate with a few and it won't with some. Um, I only give you what I hear, what I see. And if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. I hope you do. Talk to you soon. And this is who you're talking to.